Hello, I'm Fritz Winker. I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, this uh, object. It's a solar concentrator. It's a solar ball because it's spherical. It's not parabolic like many uh, of the different solar concentrators that you see. But because it's spherical, it has an advantage that it doesn't need to track the sun. It is fixed and therefore the support structure can be simpler. In the example you see in this picture, it is built into a roof, which of course complicates it a little bit but uh, it can be dug into the ground uh, with the right angle to the sun and then it's fixed and that's of course a lot cheaper than uh, uh, tracking constructions of big uh, parabolic mirrors if you want to know more about this technology you can go to buildingcsp.ning.com or www.sunrain.com uh, we can give you information, we can offer consultancy uh, whatever you want, just let us know if you have any questions to go through the power that generates that's generated by these kind of installations, to give you an impression, we uh, well, took uh, a virtual one, put it on the beach in Scheveningen for size comparison, and put some numbers next to it. I'll only go through the per year megawatt numbers. Uh, you can find this information on the Sunrain website linked next to this video. A 5 meter ball generates 13.6 megawatts. Uh, a 10 meter ball, ball would generate 54.4 megawatts. A 15 meter ball would generate 122.5 megawatts, and that's heat, so that's not electricity, but that is generated heat which comes out in the form of steam. And a 20 uh, meter ball would generate 270.9 megawatts. Uh, the 15 meter is equivalent in size of the one that was built in India and the 20 meter is equivalent in size of the one that was built in Texas and has actually run for many years uh, I believe more than 10 years until I, it was decommissioned uh, at that time of course it was already out of, uh, out of its cost but uh, these uh, type of power plants can earn themselves back relatively quickly so if you have uh, let's say a big restaurant or a cooking installation or a place where you need heat you can use these uh, solar balls uh, if you want to uh, build a bigger one, like this 20 meter one, you can uh, tie a steam generator or a steam turbine uh, to it. Or you can use, uh, if you are next to the ocean, you can use it to desalinate water uh, with very little, uh, uh, very little investment. Uh, because you only need a mirror surface and a tracker, and that's not very expensive. We can tell you everything about it, and we can calculate the cost and uh, the potential of it. So let us know if you want to know more and we'll, glad, we'll be glad to help you.